Have you ever wondered how you can improve your sound quality now that you have your microphone? Well, this is a very simple solution on how to improve your sound quality by doing one simple thing that's often overlooked by many people. Creators Tech, doing something as simple as getting a boom arm for your microphone so that you can have your microphone at a closer proximity to you will be very beneficial. Welcome to Creators Tech. I'm LL Mel, and today I would like to thank Fifine for sending me another product to check out and give an honest assessment about. Today we are reviewing the Fifine BM88 boom arm for desktop microphones. In case you are wondering, I am using the Fifine K688 microphone with this review. If you want to see the review for the microphone itself, check it out in the description below. But for right now, we are going to go ahead and look at the boom arm itself. As I had mentioned, often boom arms are overlooked when thinking about microphone quality because it's not directly a microphone itself or an electronic component. However, it is key in helping you reach the ability to have your microphone within closer proximity to your face. At first, I did not have many expectations from this boom arm given that I had never even heard about it. However, once I received it and checked it out, I was very pleasantly surprised. First, let's begin with some of the specs of this boom arm. The Fifine BM88 comes in at a length of about 26 inches. The weight is just under three pounds. The microphone weight capacity is at about 3.3 pounds. And just so that you have a little bit of context, one of the most popular heavy microphones out there is the Shure SM7B, and that weighs 1.7 pounds. So with the weight capacity of 3.3 pounds, this will definitely be able to carry that. Your desktop can be a thickness of 0.8 up to 2.4 inches for this boom arm to function with it. And it comes with adapters for thread sizes from 1 quarter inch to 3 eighths inch and 5 eighths inches. Now, next thing I want to touch on is the first impression when I went ahead and got this out of the box I noticed that the feel on the boom arm itself is an aluminum finish um, that is something that I was not expecting from a budget boom arm what do I mean by budget well this comes at about a retail price of $50 more or less as of the time of this recording Sometimes you can find it on sale, and sometimes um, when you can't find it on sale, it's at a higher price point. It just depends on how lucky you get when you're shopping for this particular item. One other thing that I absolutely was floored by and was not expecting from this price point on a boom arm such as this is the sturdiness. When I go ahead and I start adjusting this microphone boom arm, when I start adjusting this microphone boom arm, it is just so smooth and so easy and so quiet. It's un unlike anything I was expecting before it. In the boom arms in the past that I have used, they're the old tall, um lamp style boom arms that that kind of just kind of hang in your screen and to be honest with you it's not my specific taste to have a boom arm taking up such such uh real estate on my screen for my audience personally speaking i don't think it looks very 
nice. I don't think it's very photogenic to have a big, huge boom arm out there. Um, but in this particular case, this is considered a low profile boom arm and it doesn't stay low profile if you don't want it to it like i had shown you before it can go up and it can go down such as this and it just depending on what your needs are you can move it back and forth you can center it you can go ahead and move it on on any placement on your desk you can place it towards the back of your desk or towards the front of your desk as i have it i personally in my setup like having it off to the side that way it's mostly out of frame for whenever i do any of my videos and in this particular case as you can see here on this camera this boom arm works quite nicely when you're trying to maneuver if let's say um you're playing a game and you're on your keyboard and mouse and you're clicking away this does not get in the way it sits at a comfortable i would say maybe six inches from the desktop to the bottom of this stand itself so it's going to be away from anything that you are doing here if you're very animated with your hands it's you can you can start moving your hands up Above the boom arm it's it's not really taking almost any space whatsoever when it comes to do, doing things like this and creating content for your audience where you want the center of attention to be mainly on you and not be so fouled up by distractions distractions meaning things like the microphone or other equipment that you may or may not be using in my particular case I like to keep my equipment as out of the picture as possible and i want to be able to focus in on specific things that i'm reviewing or if let's say you're a content creator who is focused on doing talking head videos where you're trying to focus most of the attention on yourself so that what you are saying can be projected in a much more effective way then you don't want as much of your microphone to be showing or your other equipment such as your boom arm to be showing because it can be a little bit distracting to some viewers but in this particular case you don't have to worry about that with a boom arm such as this one the bm88 from fifine is definitely punching above and beyond its price point of about 50 dollars within that range i have seen other boom arms from companies such as Elgato that are almost twice as much dollars and deliver just about the same performance. First hand, I don't have experience with those. However, I'm just talking about aesthetically to what you can see with the eye and with the features that this has. This is going to be extremely hard to beat in the value department. I'm really, really liking my time with this boom arm and as of right now if i'm being quite honest with you it's my favorite boom arm so it's definitely a thumbs up from me and it also has these plastic parts underneath that allow you to hide the cabling that's another big thing for me i like a boom arm that can help me hide the cables and i know there's other ways of adjusting and routing the cables i know some come with adjustable bands that help you route the cables underneath in the underneath part of the boom arm however they are still exposed this helps you hide them completely inside the the boom arm itself now like i had mentioned the arm itself is made out of metal however it is hollow so you can take off the plastic cover on the underneath parts of this boom arm and once you take it off you can route the cables through the inside it comes out one end it comes out the other and then on the second part of the arm it, you can do the same thing where the cable can be routed inside one end and it comes out through the other end and that is very very neat because it helps it look so pristine so nice so neat something that i particularly love about 
boom arms, especially a boom arm such as this one. I don't see enough boom arms at this price point that are doing the same thing. So Fifine, excellent by you. It isn't completely perfect. There is a few things that I wish could be done better. If uh, Fifine, if you're out there taking notes, maybe this might be something to look at, but I'll be honest with you and I'll be honest with my audience as well. This following thing that I'm listing as a con to this boom arm is really just a nitpick when you consider the price because for what you're getting, this is a very, very good value. Okay, so what's the con I'm talking about? Um, when you're tightening and loosening it up, it comes with, with a hex screw and it helps you tighten and loosen up this boom arm to your liking however depending on the weight of your microphone you might not have as much flexibility with how tight or how loose you want it so you might notice if uh, you have a heavy boom uh, a heavy microphone this boom arm will have to be tightened a little bit more and so that means that whenever you're trying to maneuver your microphone such as this then you might not have the tension that you desire. It might be a little bit harder for you to maneuver the microphone if you have to tighten it enough to hold a heavier microphone. Now, that's one thing. And the other thing is because of the tension, sometimes there's gonna be points where it kind of wobbles a little bit. As you can see here, as I'm, as I'm barely maneuvering it, it wobbles before it reaches the point of tension. So that's one thing that um, this might have room for improvement on. Uh, however, that's just something very minor. It's uh, not even something that you're going to notice every time you use it. It's going to be just something you notice every once in a while if you're constantly making adjustments to the arm as you're going through your uh, your content that you're creating and it's something that not everybody does so this is something that's very minor uh, so at the end of the day I have to say that for all the pros that this boom arm has including the price point that it comes at it's very surprising how high of a quality this is how well thought out the design is so the designers i kudos to you designers whoever came up with this you're doing a great job um, i can't wait to see what else you come up with in the future i know this is a low profile arm and it's not exactly the longest arm out there for for uh, as far as boom arms go i know some people do require longer boom arms let's say they're running um a podcast or something similar to that some people desire longer boom arms for their microphones but as far as this goes i think it's just perfect for me i think it might be perfect for a lot of people out there as well it's a strong recommendation and just one more more thing that i want to say the mechanism that tightens the arm to your desk is one of my favorites it has the type of handle that's not just a, a twist handle. It has the type of handle that's like an actual handle you grab onto, like a door handle, and you, you turn it. It allows you more control over the tension that you're going to apply for this boom arm to be on your desk. I know sometimes when you use the other style of handles to tighten boom arms or equipment to your desk, they don't always grab on the best, uh, whether it be because of the tension that you're, you're inserting on it or because of the me mechanism that's squeezing and grabbing onto your desk itself like that. Um, sometimes they don't go in deep enough to where they can get a good grip and they're just barely kind of like on the edge of your desk. And this one goes in all the way and then is able to squeeze onto your desk for a nice firm grip on there and so it allows it allows the boom arm 
to be nice and firm onto your desk without damaging your desk because it does have a nice grip to it. And then once it's nice and firm on the desk, then everything else is going to work just fine, just well, and it's going to help you big time get the production value of your video content to whoever you're streaming to, creating content for. They're going to appreciate that because it's going to be one less thing that you're worried about over here, and then you can focus more on your audience and the content that you want to bring to them. So the Fifine BM88, this is a wonderful device. I strongly recommend it. If you're on a budget and you want to bring your audio quality for your video streams to the next level, then this is something I would definitely recommend. Who is this for? I would say it's for almost any content creator out there, whether you're doing a podcast, whether you're doing video streams, whether it be gaming video streams, because this does allow you to go ahead and be on your keyboard and mouse or hold a controller in front of your face without it getting in the way. And that's something that's very key to a lot of people out there. If you're just doing talking head videos and you're moving your hands a lot in front of the video, such as something similar to this one, then this won't get in your way either. It's very low profile, very out of the way, and it looks very pretty. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. If you want to check out the review for this microphone, it's going to be also listed in the comment section or at the end of this video. Thank you very much to Fifine for sending out the BM88 boom arm for a review. And thank you for watching Creators Tech, technology for creators.